This is an instructional video for this tool, made for tying snell nuts. Before starting with step-by-step -step instructions, let me demonstrate how this tool works. The hook is secured in the tool. The line runs through the hook eye. Then run the two poles on the tool and then back through the hook eye. Then the tool is rotated to wrap the tag end around the shank and the main line. The tag end is wrapped around the longest pole and both poles on the tool are pushed down to pinch the tag end and release the main line which completes the knot. And here you go. Let's start with a regular hook that has an eye. This is the most common hook type and is the easiest to tie. Secure the hook between the jaws by rotating the thumb screw. Move these two poles up. Run the tag end through the hook eye. Then around the two poles on the tool and then back through the hook eye. Start wrapping the tag end around the main line and the hook shank, working from the eye towards the tool. Keep constant tension and try to make coils lay next to each other without overlapping. The number of wraps depends on the thickness of your line. You will need more for a thin line and less for a thick one. Make 6-7 wraps and see if this works for you. Without easing the line tension, wrap the tag end around the longest pole. Then push the poles down. This will catch the tag end and release the line from the other pole, creating a loop. Pull the main line to form the knot on the shank, but don't tighten it yet, otherwise it will be difficult to complete the next step. Release the hook from the jaws of the hook and pull it away from the tool. This will free the tag end. Now you can tighten the knot. And you've got a snelled hook. Let's snell a small hook without an eye. As before, secure the hook between the jaws by rotating the thumb screw. Move the poles up. Wrap your line around the two poles on the tool. Snelling eyeless hook is a bit trickier because there is nothing to hold the line along the shank. There are several ways to do this, but you can make it easier by wrapping the tag end up the shank instead of down like in the previous example. Make the first wrap on the bottom of the shank and start wrapping the tag end around the shank and the main line by rotating the tool. Keep the line tension and wrap the tag end around the longest pole. Then push the poles down to hold the tag end. Pull the main line to slightly tighten the knot. Release the hook from the tool and pull it away to free the tag end. Now you can tighten the knot. And this is one of the ways to snell an eyeless hook. When you get a handle on it, you can try wrapping the shank downwards and see if you like the result. This tying tool has two spikes inside. They are to help with making surgeon loops on the other end of your leader. To create a surgeon loop, make a loop with a double line. Pass the end through the loop one more time and tighten it slightly. Then put the end loop on the long spike, the other loop on the short spike and pull the main line and the tag end to completely tighten the knot. 
remove the loop from the short spike and give it a final tug. Let's use a larger hook and a thicker thread to better illustrate the process. Secure the hook between the jaws. Move these poles up. Wrap your line around the poles. Take the tag end and make the first wrap around the main line and the shank of the hook. Start rotating the tool to create more wraps toward the top of the shank. Keep constant tension and try to make the coils lay next to each other without overlapping. Wrap the tag end around the shortest pole and press the pole down to secure the tag end. Pull the main line to tighten the snell knot, but don't tighten it completely, otherwise it will be difficult to release the tag end. Release the hook and pull it away from the tool to free the tag end. Now you can tighten the knot completely. Let's make a loop on the other end, so you can use snaps to attach your leader. Make a loop with a double line. Pass the end through the loop one more time and tighten it slightly. Put the end loop on the long spike, the other loop on the short spike, and pull the main line and the tag end to tighten the knot. Remove the loop from the short spike and give it a final tug. This is how this snell knot tying tool works.